Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, as you can tell by the title, we're going to be doing a multi palette bingo with all of my Jerry Star palettes. So if you do not know what palette bingo is, you go on Google or you can like write all the numbers down on paper, but I prefer Google. You just go on Google, you search up a random number generator and you put how many, um, you put how many shades you have in a palette and you hit random and it'll pick a random number and whichever number it is you get it from the palette so i'm gonna be doing multi palette bingo i'm gonna be getting two shades from each of my jerry star palettes i am inspired by betty jean her youtube ad is beat bean i will leave her multi palette bingo using all of her jerry star cosmetics i showed a palettes down in the description below um i want to brag on her really quick but i didn't um actually find her youtube until i saw her blue blood palette review um, and I absolutely love her and I watch her all the time. She posts like five days a week, I want to say, and literally makes my week so much better. Her work is just, oh, <laughs> she's so down to earth and I really love her. So if you want, if you want to go check out her channel, it's linked in the description. So yeah, let me give a little shout out to Betty Jean. So the palettes that I'm going to be using from Jerry Star Cosmetics today are the Blood Sugar Palette, which looks like this. Um... Looks like this on the inside, as you can tell. Um, I did a review up on it on my channel a couple months ago when I got it. If you want to see that, it's on my channel. I'll link it up here, and I'll link it down in the description if I remember to. So hopefully I do. Future Joshua remember. <laughs> the other palette that I'm going to be using is the Thirsty palette from JP Star Cosmetics, which looks like a this. Um, if you've been watching my channel recently, you know that I just got this one when he restocked them, and so yeah. Um, if you haven't already watched my first impression and three looks one palette with this, um, it's up here in the cards as well. And down in the description. Finally, I'm going to be using my Beauty Killer palette as well. I did a four looks one palette on this palette, um, a couple months ago. It looks like this, if you didn't know. This was his first palette, um, it was inspired by one of his songs, I'm a Beauty Killer, um, I can't show you the song because it'll get copyrighted, so sorry. If you want to see my four looks with this palette, you can watch it up here on the cards as well and down in the description. I know I just said that, but whew. So without further ado, let's look on Random Number Generator and we will get started. Okay, so I'm going to be going in order of the palettes, um, like, when they came out. So the first palette is the Beauty Killer palette, like I just showed you. It looks like this. It has 10 shades, so I'm going to be putting 1 through 10, which is already on there. And we're going to be picking two shades from this palette. Um, I don't have an extra phone, um, so I'm going to be using my computer. And when I show you, it won't show up, so I'm just going to be doing it down here. Believe me, I wouldn't lie. So the first one we got is 3 and... Eight. The, the first one we got was three, which is the shade Violence. Then the second shade we got was Vanity, which is like this dark purple. Uh, so the first shade that we got was Vanity. Put that right there. Then we got, no, this is um, Violence, and then this is Vanity, which is very a very dark color, but I like it. The next palette that we're going to be um, getting um, shades from is the Blood Sugar palette. Um, it has 18, so I'm going to reset it to 18. And then we're going to generate, um, the first shade that we got was 17 and 15. So we got 17 and 15. The first shade that we got was Extraction, this one right here. 17, I mean 15, Fresh Meat, this one right here. Extraction, this one right here. And then... Fresh meat, this one right here. So this is what we're looking for so far. Very burgundy. Um, so this palette that we're gonna be picking shades from is the Thirsty palette right here. It's very colorful, so hopefully I can like get a lighter color or like a shimmer, because I only have one. Okay, this one is 15, so I'm gonna reset it. That is nine and two. So we got, ooh, yay. The first shade that we got is 9, which is Snatched, which I've actually never used. And then the second shade that we got is Taste Buds, this one right here. Um, it's a very coral shade, and I love to use it for blush. So, yeah. So, this is what we're looking with. I don't know if you can see all of them. I probably should have swatched them, like, not as thick. But that is what we're looking with. Very, very, like, similar, I would say. Like, they all, like, go together. Does that make sense? Hopefully. I already primed my eyes with the e.l.f. eye primer, the white one. It has like sparkles in it, 
but I don't really see it. And then I set it with the um, shade parts, this one right here. Um, so we're good to go with the eye look. So now let's get started. The first shade that I'm gonna be going in with is the shade Fresh Meat. This one right here from the Blood Sugar Palette. So I'm just gonna be taking that color and just running that through the crease, not like blending it up very high, because I'm gonna use a different shade to blend it, but that is what we're gonna be doing. This is gonna be very red, so I'm sorry. I don't think I've did a red look recently though, so that's cool. But I feel like working like with the blood checker palette, you're gonna get something red. I mean, let's be real. There's like five shades of red in here. Taking that brush with like no extra product, I'm just gonna be kind of blending it up just so there's not like really harsh lines, but I'm not blending very much. And I'm bringing it out kind of far on the edge just cause I'm gonna be cleaning it up and possibly doing a wing. I don't know. Now for the second color, I'm gonna be taking these shade Taste Buds, this one right here in the um, Thirsty palette. I'm gonna be taking that and just blending the edges of fresh meat that we got in the Blood Trick palette, the one that I just used. I feel like this color right in the one that I'm using, Taste Buds, really isn't that pigmented. Um, you have to kind of like build it up, which I really like to use as a blush because if you use like a really, really pigmented red shade or like pink shade, you're gonna be in trouble. I mean, let's be real. It's currently Tuesday, it's nine o'clock at night. Um, this is my film because honestly, I cannot film during the day. It's just not possible. Not where my room is because, <clears throat> um, let's be real. I don't get up at nine o'clock in the morning. Um, more like two o'clock in the afternoon. Not that late, but let's, let's be real, you know? So when I get up, the sun is hitting my room because my room is just where the sun is like setting. So it's beaming on my room all day long. And when I film my fan or the air can't be on because you'll hear it <clears throat> and it's like really annoying and really loud so I have to turn that completely off which is like you know so I have to film at night when it like gets a little bit cooler um so yeah that's what I've been doing okay I think that shade is pretty much laid down let's be real okay the next shade that I'm gonna be taking is the shade extraction in the blood trigger palette it's so hard to show it um, it's this one right here, this one right here, I'm going to be taking this one. I'm just going to be deepening this up. I know it looks like really scary. Um, hold on. I know it looks like I got punched in the eye and I'm bleeding. We're going to fix it. Just hold on. Just blending that and kind of focusing it lower. Um, just like deepen it up, get it dimension. And I'm really loving it. It's kind of crazy how you can like see like which palettes they came from because like Thirsty is like really summery. These two, Blood Sugar is like dark, like there, and then you've got Beauty Killer, which is like darker. Isn't that crazy? So, let's talk about school for a second. Um, I want to chat a little bit with y'all because I miss this so much. Don't worry, a chatty video, get ready. A chatty get ready with me is coming, I promise. I just have some other videos that I want to film before that, you know? And so, yeah. Currently in biology, which sucks, oh my god. I cannot literally stand it. I'm almost finished. Um, I have like two more exams and then I'm gonna be finished with biology forever, thank God. <sighs> I cannot stand it. I'm passing, but like I'm barely passing, you know? <laughs> so yeah, that's a little school update. Every time I go in with a new shade, I'm just going back in with all the other shades and brushes that I used. Just to kind of get that really nice blend. Okay, the next shade that I'm going to be taking is the, the shade Vanity from the Beauty Killer palette. It's this one right here. Um, it, I know it like looks black, but it's really not. It's like dark purple. It's dark purple. So I'm going to be taking that with like a little tiny blending brush. Thing off a lot because I do not want black. Um, I'm just going to be deepening up the outer corner just a little bit with like this little tiny brush, like I just said. But I don't want to put that much because I just don't. So I'm taking that and just kind of blending it in the outer corner. And back in with the brush that I used Blush Meat with, getting a little bit more. And just kind of like blending that. Because I don't want that much black. Isn't this like a saying like, you know, if you use too much, too much black can like ruin a look. And that's true. Even though it's not black, I just said it wasn't black, but now I'm referencing it as a black shade. 
Oh my god. I'm gonna go off camera and do this step, but I'm taking my ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Fair 02, um, and I'm gonna be doing a half cut crease. I know I do half cut creases all the time, and I really love them, and they're like really nice. Okay, so I'm back and I just finished cutting the crease. I actually did add a little bit more of the shade Vanity um, from the Beauty Killer palette and some of Extraction from the Blood Sugar palette just um, across the edge of the half cut crease just because I wanted it blended very nicely. And now I'm going to be taking the shade Snatch, this one right here from the Thirsty palette, the one that we selected, number nine. You know, um... I'm taking it on a brush first, but I am going to be spraying it because I know that these aren't that good on a brush because they're just not, um, like, see what I mean? Like, it's barely there, so. Yeah, I'm going to be taking my finger, just tapping that, and then just I'm taking it with my brush and just getting up right next to the line of the concealer. That is a really pretty shade. Oh my god, I really love it. Taking a little bit more of extraction, just blending that up against the half cut crease, just to make sure it's like really blended. Taking a little bit more of vanity and just blending that up against it as well. Okay, so that is one eye all complete. Um, I actually am gonna go off camera because my camera is about to die. My phone, which is my camera, you know the same thing. And I can't charge it while I'm filming, uh, but I'm gonna go off camera and I'm gonna clean up this eye do this eye and I'm gonna do my base and we'll be back to finish off the lower lash line and put something on my lips so we'll be right back okay Bye. okay so I'm back and both eyes are done and the face is done as well I know the highlighter is like a little bit much I'm glowing like it literally looks like my skin is wet living for it but now we're gonna continue on with the eyes and finish this look so I'm really excited so let's get going so the only shade that I haven't used is the shade Violence, this purple shade right here. So I'm actually going to be taking that on the lower lash line. Taking a little bit of the brush that I used with Taste Buds and just blending that out with no extra product. So I did take the liquid lipstick from Jeffree Star Cosmetics in the shade Wifey and I just put that in my waterline. I don't know if you can see, you can see it on this side better. But yeah, if you didn't know, his liquid lips are eye safe, which is like really cool because you can use them as like liquid eyeliner. And then taking a little bit of the shade Vanity, this one right here, and the Beauty Killer palette as well. Taking it with this little blending brush, I'm actually gonna be connecting the wing, the black wing that I did, to the lower lash line just so there isn't like a big gap. And it like transfers smoothly. I added a wing, I forgot to mention that. It's very, very pretty. I actually really love it. Taking the shade that we got in the Thirsty palette, this one right here, Snatched. I'll be taking that shade Snatched and just putting that in my inner corner as like an inner corner highlight because it's the only shade that's like really shimmery. Okay, so I'm back and I just popped Wifey on my lips. I wanted it to kind of like be cohesive with my waterline since I put this in my waterline. And I really love it for the look. And so this is the completed multi-palette bingo with all of my Jeffree Star Cosmetics palettes. <laughs> This is the completed multi palette bingo video using all of my Jeffree Star Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you do this with any brand, let me know down in the comments and I will definitely go check it out because this was like super fun and I can't wait to get more palettes from like different br more palettes from like the same brand because this is the only brand that I have like that many palettes with. Um, so yeah. If you like me and you like my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Um, make sure you like this video if you enjoy me. Don't forget to follow me on my makeup Instagram. I post as often, mostly every day, but sometimes not every day. So I'm not going to say every day. But yeah, I upload every Monday and Friday. Sometimes I upload a little bit of a bonus video if I'm feeling like it. So yeah, you all have a wonderful Friday. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out. Bye.